All right, you guys, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. And today I'm going to be giving you eight, at least eight, uh, ways for you to save credits, especially if you're in the early to mid game. This is going to help a lot. End game. I mean, you're going to have this figured out by the end game. However, in the mid game, in the end, early game, this is going to be really, really helpful. I think I've compiled as many things as I possibly could fit into this list. And uh, I'm going to go through and show you in my account all of those ways to save your crystals. So if you haven't already, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and do all the you fun YouTube stuff I'm supposed to tell you to do. And let's get started. So number one is fairly obvious. We're going to get go from obvious to not so obvious in, in my opinion. Anyways, uh, the most obvious thing you could probably do is do the credit heist. The end of the credit heist gives you anywhere from I believe it was three to like 5 million, I believe that's what it is. I could be wrong. It's happening in a few days, actually. So if you're watching this when this comes out, um, the credit heist is going to be on uh, October 13th, I believe, if you're watching this when this comes out. So just so you know, um, credit heist is an instant huge boost in your credits. It gives you, usually I get 5 million credits from it. And I, it really just helps me get caught up on, um, credits i'm remodding my entire roster these last month or so i've been remodding and just remodding and i i was at uh, originally i was at a uh about oh you can't see it from here Duh. um originally with my credits i was at 130 million credits or so and then after remodding i'm i'm only at 50 so getting these credit heists in while they're happening it really helps me get caught back up with my uh with my credits to where i was initially so that's number one number two is the most obvious as well i do your dailies i mean i i already did my daily activities however when you do your daily activities and you go to your let's let's go let's go look at mod battles we'll look at mod battles for example when you do your mod battles for example you get a hundred uh 1800 credits just right off just from farming this node and this is i believe just for one farm so if i multi sim this i would get even more uh let's see what, what's something i need yeah we'll just go we'll go to my roster and figure it out from there i don't want to just randomly figure out and guess one uh right now i'm working on wampa uh this mod is really good so let's try and get some credits from this node yeah we'll do it from this one I get three of, this I get one of. So we'll do it from here, 1600, 1800, 1800. Let's do it from here. You might not notice, 10 grand, basically. And I mean, when, it, when you have 53 million, that's not too much, but if you're on a credit crunch, that's really gonna help you. If you just do your dailies every day, uh, make sure you're refreshing nodes and stuff, that's gonna go a long way when it comes to how many crystals or credits you're actually getting every day. So next up, a really helpful thing I think that would help you guys is your web store. If you haven't checked out the web store, it is one of the best ways of just getting good stuff. Look, I just got 20 of these. I got some stormtrooper shards. I got 100,000 credits. I got 100 energy, which actually is pretty good. I already spent it, but usually you don't get 100 energy anymore. Um, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and I got an Omicron. Awesome. Basically, the web store, it gives you free rewards every single day just for logging in. I have it bookmarked on my browser, and I just, every, the first thing I do every single day that I log into my uh, browser is I just go to the web store, claim it, and then do whatever I need to do. And the next time I open the game, I have the stuff ready for me. So if you haven't already, check out the web store. There's really no reason not to. All you have to do is link your account. It's free. It's awesome. You also get free uh discounts on bundles actually i think i still yeah i still have it open here so I'll, also on the web store I'll, i can link it in the description if you guys like um you get discounted offers for some stuff sometimes they have exclusive offers as well so if you haven't seen the web store this is like gonna be your one-stop shop for free bonuses and cheaper deals there's not too many deals going on right this second which makes it look bad but there's usually a, way more deals going on uh, than this so if you haven't already definitely check that out but uh next up these are going to be oh this one so sorry i have a list uh next up 
I want to show you this. Am I not activated? Don't activate characters you don't need. I'm not going after Jabba right this second, so I don't need Bausch Leia. I don't have an unaligned Force users team, so I don't need to single drop farm Cal Kestis. I don't have my Treya team up and running yet, but I will soon. I don't have Treya up and running yet, so I haven't unlocked Treya, even though she's at seven stars. Don't unlock characters you don't have a use for. I'm actively farming the Inquisitors, but I haven't unlocked them yet because I don't need the, my GP to be inflated. Plus, I just got all the Lightspeed bundles, so I don't really need to distract myself with farming all the other Inquisitors. Right now, I'm just farming uh, the seventh brother or whatever it is, eighth brother. Yeah, I'm just farming the eighth brother because of two, IG-2000. Then after that, I'm going to actually farm him and get his gear all up. But I'm not even unlocking the, the Inquisitor, and I have him over seven stars. Don't spend credits on characters you don't need to unlock. 3PO and Chewbacca need this character. Armor, I need these characters coming up soon. For I need this for I need Chewbacca for uh CLS. I need the armor for Sith Eternal, which I'm going to get after I do Kylo and Rey. But I'm not I'm not unlocking them yet cuz they're not at 7 stars and it's a waste of credits to do it right now. So don't spend credits you don't need. If you don't need the character, don't spend the credits upgrading them and unlocking them. Now, this next point, this bullet point, is kind of a few separate bullet points, but it's mods. So first of all, if you have any mods you don't need, just sell them. If you have mods, uh, let's see, this, yeah, see that's a four dot mod, gone. Don't even, doesn't even matter, four dot mod, gone, 6,000 credits. All right, so let's see, let's do that, okay. I have, I'm, again, I'm remodding my roster, so right now I'm having to put some trash mods on characters, but um, let me show you if I was to, let's say, uh, let's, when I haven't upgraded here, if I, uh, if I was going to upgrade this, would I just go for revealing all the stats? No. We start off with six. Let's see what we get. Okay. We didn't get speed. I... I'm feeling lucky because I'm recording. This could be good for me. So I'm going to take it to nine. And if it's not at nine, we sell it. It's not worth spending the exorbitant amount of credits to upgrade and see all the stats if you know you don't have good stats. Like, let's do it again here. Six. No. Nine. Nope. It's not worth it. It's not worth spending all the credits. So let's do it with this rot. This, this one. If we revealed all the credits, it's 86,000. And doing this is 37. Half. And usually, speed is the third or second stat. Usually, that's what I've noticed. I could be wrong on that. But let's see. I'm going to upgrade it. 86,000. Let's waste it. Yep, wasted. There's no point in doing that with every single mod. If you're just going to waste credits like that, there's no point. There's no point in doing that. Don't do that. It's a waste. Let's do it one more time just to show you. Hopefully, actually, this is crit avoidance. I don't, even, I don't really want to do that mod. Let's see. One that could be kind of helpful. Uh, speed, sure. Speed, health, sure. This could be helpful. Okay. Let's, let's do it again. There we go. I got speed. And this is, a, this is only a uh, lower level mod. However, let's reveal all the stats. Okay. And then if we do it one more time, do I get the roll? Well, I don't know why I tried that. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I forgot. It's stupid. Okay. Another thing, when you're upgrading your mods, don't touch this unless you have this on a character. This upgrading mods like this is such a waste. Why would I upgrade this mod if I'm not equipping it on a character? Yeah, it has speed, a little bit of speed, but if it's not needed for anything, why would I upgrade it? This is 18,000 credits to go to tier D. And then you, if you actually want to upgrade this mod all the way, that's so many more credits. Don't do that. Don't do that if you're not going to use the mod. It just doesn't make sense to do that. Um, it just it doesn't make sense. So sell your mods often. Be careful with the mods you upgrade. And the last thing I want to talk about with mods is actually the mod shipments. So we go into mod ship. Where is it? I just passed it. Yep. So mod shipments. I personally never 
ever, 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 ever spend credits in this store. I do, however, occasionally spend fleet currency, shipbuilding currency. Occasionally, I'll buy it. Um, there's nothing in the store that I would buy. I only buy mods that I know have good speed on it, so I can see the speed, and it's a mod I'm kind of crunched for that's high at levels. So if this, uh, if this mod here, let's say that this was five speed here, and this was four health here, I would probably buy this because I right now, again, like I said, I'm remodding my entire roster. I need new mods and I've been hoarding up ship building materials. So if I really needed this mod, I would buy it with ship building. Never, ever, 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 ever buy it with credits, especially if you're in a credit, right, a credit crunch. And if you need to buy a mod with credits, make sure it's a cheaper one because a lot of these mods get really expensive really fast. Like, Four million for this shitty mod. Don't do that. <laughs> it's not worth it. Don't do that. Uh, especially the more expensive ones. It, don't buy this one. It's cheaper, but you can't see any of the stats and it's a gray mod. Why would you do that? Don't waste your resources on this. Now, my final tip I have for you is in the guild activity store. Yay! So, in the guild activity store, we have a little little new uh small new mechanic that's been added into the game i don't know if you could say it's new anymore but you can actually purchase credits in here so if you need 500k only 300 of these that's pretty good you can farm barris offie for less than 500 credits like i could go i'm gonna i'm i am gonna go get barris offie shards right now actually because uh the more i'm you know, learning about my roster right now, the more I realize I could use a Barris Offie as like an extra character. So every day I'm just, I passed it. Every day I'm just farming Barris 200 and it's 10 shards. Or you can spend 300 and get 500K. It depends on, it depends really on how crunched you are for credits. If you're like really struggling and you need credits for super cheap, this is a excellent, excellent option, especially if you're like me and you get like, 8,000 of these uh, Mark 1 raid tokens every single time you do a raid, uh, crate dragon raid. If you get 8,000 and you just do it occasionally, it's a, it's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good deal. There's not really uh, a reason not to, if you ask me. I think if you're crunched for credits, this is probably a best quick way to get it. I also do believe you can buy credits with crystals, but I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, actually, I don't think it's going to be in the shipments, is it? I think it's actually going to be in here. Could be wrong. Resources. Yeah. So you can you can buy these with crystals. Don't do this. It's a scam. Let's take a look at this. Don't do this. You can okay. Again, you guys, you can get five hundred thousand uh credits for three hundred Mark One raid tickets. Or you can spend 80 crystals to get 70,000. You tell me which one's better. And it ain't this one. So uh, this is, I suppose, an option. It's a supposed an option. If you really, if you're good on credits and you don't need refreshes for some reason, by the way, if that's your situation, you're probably playing the game wrong. You're probably doing it wrong. But this is an option. Possible times two or times three multiplier is like probably a 10% chance. Let's see. What do you, what did you actually get? One card that drops a minimum of 70,000 credits. That's not, that's not impressive. That's not impressive. Don't do that. Each card contains a 2% chance for a times three multiplier. 14%. Okay. 14% chance for times two. That's actually better than I thought. An 84% chance for a times one multiplier. Yay. Not yay. Don't buy this. If you if you have extra if you have extra crystals, uh, I suppose you could you could if you buy if you okay if you buy all of the crystal or the credits with your Mark One raid tokens and you still need a little bit more, I guess this is an option for you. It's a bad option, but it's a option. It's a option. However, that does conclude our video of 
some great, great ways for you to save credits on your roster. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more daily videos. Yay! I keep doing the yay thing. I did it one time and now I've done it like five times in this video. I'm just going to keep doing it. Uh, thank you for watching, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Subscribe or else uh, Santa will not come to your house today and you'll be or on um, uh, this Christmas because he doesn't come uh, in uh, October. But uh, Santa won't come to your your house if you don't subscribe. Bye.